In the early 1860s, long before Al Gore invented the internet, the latest and greatest in communication technology was the telegraph, which, not unlike today's digital world of ones and zeros, used a series of short and long electrical pulses to transmit messages over long distances. These pulses, known as dots and dashes, are called Morse code and in the right sequence represent characters and numbers. Whereas in ASCII's binary code, an A is 01000001, in Morse code it is simply dot dash. The internet works because there are many small networks that are connected to other networks to create one giant web of connections. The telegraph system was configured in much the same way. Each station was directly connected to several other stations. When a message was brought in by a customer, a header was put on the front of the message telling who the message was from and who the message was to and what station they were closest to. The message would then be sent to the adjacent station which was closest to the message's destination. This is extremely similar, similar to how messages are transferred on the internet today. The customer's notebook on which he scratched his short message has been replaced with the home computer and the telegraph station has been replaced by the router. Also, there would have been other network functions corresponding to today's internet. For instance, if a train engineer needed to know the weather forecast for his de next destination, he would simply send a request to the telegraph station and receive a quick reply. This station was, in effect, a server. Almost all the components of a working computer network were present in the telegraph system, although on a much simpler scale. The internet did not just simply appear, it was being developed long before the modern computer was on the scene. The next step forward in long distance communication was the invention of the teletype machine. The teletype machine took the principles of Morse code and automated the process. The original signal was generated by a machine that was fed punched tape. The receiving machine read the incoming electrical signals and punched its own tape. This tape was then run through a machine which converted the patterns of perforations to print. This was when ASCII art was first introduced. The story goes that one Christmas Eve, since there was no activity on the lines, teletype operators began sending ASCII pictures to one another. In the last 150 years, display methods and transmission rates have increased dramatically, but the basic principles and ideas of a national and global communication and information network established by the telegraph system remain the same.